So for today, we're gonna be reviewing the Nostalgic Engram, which I think is complete and total garbage, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. So let's start out with the ornaments, which I literally have almost all of these, if not all of them. We got the Pride of Amalon for Cold Heart, I think. It's fine, it looks cool. These all look cool, not gonna lie. Looks cool for the Risk Runner. This is for, oh man, all the exotics names are crimson. All the exotic names are like escaping me right now. Malfeasance, which I still think this is one of the best ornaments in the game, hands down. It looks so good. Zero's Chrome. It looks fine. I think it looks cool. The Cuddly Throwback, which I don't have this one. This one, one of my favorites for Ace of Spades is uh, the Colonel, which you can see like what wings and then the Colonel himself and then an egg. I love it, love it. I just got this one from one of my uh, engrams because you get a free one. I ended up getting this, which made me happy because I don't have that one, or I do now. The Four-Headed Mongrel, which I love. I, oh, I love this one. It's so good for Cerberus Plus One. The Panama Ravine for the Chaperone. This is actually one of the main exotic, or one of the main, um, one of the main exotic ornaments that I use for this gun because it's the best, literally, it's so good. So, then you get the legendary ones. Like I have this, I have all of these, almost. I have this one, which just, if I remember correctly, it removes the splatter of the snakes here and then just has the little thing right here and it changes the material as well i think it's fine for 21 percent delirium loaded question this one i do not have i don't really care about it because i don't use loaded question but i wouldn't mind not i wouldn't mind getting it even is true i didn't even know i had this one it looks really cool it looks really cool blind faith i do not have this one i do kind of want this one but I don't even use trust anymore, so I don't know why I want it. Hazard of the Crest, I don't have this one either, I wanna say. Yeah, I don't have it. This one for Hazard of the Cast, which I don't even use that one either. Why do I want it? Like, that's the thing. I don't even use some of these. I have that one, if I remember correctly. Yep, this is for the no turning back. The main ingredient, which is cool. I think it's fine. Main ingredient. Loaded question, main ingredient. What's main ingredient? Oh, I remember. And then this one, which I think is bad. I don't like the ivory. I've never liked the ivory, so whatever. This ornament for whatever the exotic this was. I, oh, dude, I'm forgetting the names. Skull of Dire Ahamkara looks amazing. Too bad it got nerfed. I for sure will never remember this one because this one came out in... Um, Curse of Osiris, if I remember correctly. I think that looks cool. I think that looks really cool. What's it called? Vesper of Radius. Oh, I think this got a buff. If I remember correctly. This is where it kind of gets really sad for me because out of all of the ones they chose, they chose this one. And I was like, ooh, okay, I guess. Like, I'm not saying it doesn't look cool. This shit looks fierce. It looks so cool. But in my opinion, or not in my opinion, but in my case, I already have all of this. So for me, it's like, I was hoping they would give something that I didn't have, like this one or this one or this one. Because out of all of these, I'm just missing these three. And then this one right here. So that's just kind of, uh, also this one, why? Why? Stop it. Get some help. Like this is gross, ew. Uh, this was from last season, and I know they sold this one because I ended up getting it. And I don't know why they did this one. This is from last season. Why? And then this one, obviously, dope as hell. I think it's really awesome. So, yeah, I think it's uh, ornament side. I don't care because I already have all of them. And uh, to be honest, some of the choices they did was just kind of like, really, that one, huh? I would have chosen something else. Like, for the hunter, I would have chosen... The leg piece for Orpheus rigs, because I have not seen that one come back, and I hope it does, because that's the one I I wore in Destiny 2 in uh, P in PS4. So the ghost shells is honestly these two, 
immediately like yes these two should be here but then it's like this one though the rust the rust punk really rust punk really like y'all really hmm. really okay i wouldn't have chosen this one uh i think it's mm, no 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 the plasma shell is awesome it looks cool i don't think it changes with color that much to begin with so i think it's fine and then the the shitty ones that no one ever keeps because why the hell would you emotes they chose pretty good ones i guess again from last season i don't know why they're doing from last season because or not last season but this is like from two seasons ago also two seasons ago for the ornament for the titans it was from two seasons ago but still like why like uh i don't know it's really hit or miss for me like this is cool i have this one already i don't have the sad trump trombone so i guess like i have something to look forward to the poultry petting which i have this one as well i don't have this one though which again cool i guess i don't know question mark and then uh, i don't have that one which is which one's this one oh yeah the one i don't care about sky dance have that have that and have that see like i have a majority of these so for me this is definitely something like that people from when the last season came out season of opulence felt where it's like well this immediate this immediately makes engrams obsolete in my opinion because this only this is only a good thing for newcomers for veterans like me this is complete garbage because i have all of these already i have all of these and I can guarantee you that I have most, if not all, of these already as well. So, there's nothing new here for me at all, especially shit that I don't give two shits about. I think maybe I don't have this one, but not because I didn't get it, but because I probably skipped this. Have probably, if not all of these. So, again, ghost projections, I don't care about these, I, even though I, I have all of these. Okay, cool. Shaders probably have all of these since that's all I get from those. Transmat effects probably have all these. If not, I actually don't have these two, I'm pretty sure. But very weak in my opinion. These are just kind of like whatever is. Not only that, but was year two really forsaken in, in the DLCs? I thought it was like. I oh, don't know, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, the nostalgic engrams are a huge disappointment, especially that the considering the fact that you only get them each like each and other level. It's not like it's not every level anymore. It's like one, one, two, three, four, five. So it is every five levels now, or is it? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So each five. So every five levels you get an engram. And for, for veteran players like me, so each of the five levels, I just get a big bag of disappointment. And what's even worse is that now they don't even drop as uh, Bright Dust anymore. They just drop as Legendary Shards. So now it's not even like, oh, well, at least I'll get some sh um, some Bright Dust. No, now it's like, oh, at least I'll get some Legendary Shards. Oh boy, love to have more thousand, like, I don't know why they, they chose that. Like, I don't know what was the, their thought process on it. Like, I would, I think it would have been fine if they sold more. Like, if I were to fix Ever Eververse. Actually, no, I'll do that for another video. But honestly, I don't, I don't like these changes mostly, mostly because there's no reason for for me to care about the engrams especially for a veteran player because we all we have a lot of the old shit already so it's just going to become more legendary shards i guess maybe that'll be better but like if you guys can see i have a thousand legendary shards i have 1300 bright dust and even then it's not like oh man like i can't wait until they start selling shit because eververse is not even selling anything new from this season aside from one emo right here and then two like these two right here other than that everything you have oh fuck you have that well fuck you then you gotta have to wait 
That's cool, I guess. Whatever. Uh, I... I don't know, guys. I'm just... I'm enjoying Shadow Keep. But the first thing I did, I went to Eververse to check how the store was and immediately killed my vibe. Because after I'm done with Shadow Keep, after I'm done leveling up, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to my inventory, go to collections, and I'm gonna grab everything from old seasons. Because I refuse to buy shit from this season, especially that they're that overpriced. $15 for armor, $8 for some shit. I'm just like, bro, like, some of the shit you're asking for is kind of outlandish. I think they need to lower their price, especially lower their price, because at this point, I'm probably just gonna be the same thing I was doing last season, which is the the Cabal set, this. Because I like how it looks, I really do. It makes me feel like I'm part, like, I like my guardians more into the Cabal side of things. But if we go to the, like, Flare, not Flare, I'm sorry. If we go to Ship, then maybe I'll just start collecting from stuff from old seasons because they're legendary shards now. And I have a fuck ton of legendary shards, so whatever I really want, I can get now from the old seasons and not feel bad because they're legendary shards. Which is good and bad because now I can just buy whatever I want. But even then, it's like, how many times was I buying shit from the old seasons all the time? Not really that much, to be honest with you guys. Like, I'll probably do, um, what's it called? A fallen build or not fallen build, but like have the fallen ship. I don't know if they have a fallen, whatchamacallit. I don't think they do. I could be wrong, maybe. I guess I can get the impact velocity. You do get it from a fallen mission or nightfall. But yeah, that's that's the thing. There's no more customizing how your guardian looks. Cause for me, I like to give my guardian a little bit of backstory sometimes. So like for me for my guardian, he he rolled with um, the cabal a lot, which is why he has a lot of cabal shit with him. Which is why like his ghost has cabal stuff too. I like that, like, I I don't know. Uh, I'll probably get into that shit later, but that's pretty much the video. Let me go, now, let me know what you guys think about the engra engrams. I think, I think they're disappointing. We're gonna have to wait until probably next season, hopefully. That way, the way it's probably gonna work is that they're probably catching up to, to have each season. Like, if there's like, next, I'll give you an example. Next season, it's gonna be year three stuff. So basically, stuff from from this from this season, and they're probably just gonna do it like if you if you want some of the shit that you can't get now, you're gonna have to wait until next season, which I don't really care about considering I don't care about like the whole oh you don't have that what a loser because at the end of the day, the Destiny community is not even like that. Thank God. We're not like, oh yeah, I got all the armor. You don't. What a fucking loser. Nah, we don't do that because I don't know. Think I, I don't know why we don't do that. I'm not complaining. Thank God we don't do that. We don't shame guardians into like, oh yeah, you don't have shit from the Eververse because most of the time we hate Eververse. So <sighs> hopefully next season we'll be able to get some of the shit that's in here now. And then next season, vice versa, same thing, same thing. If it turns out like that, then I really don't mind the changes. It just means that I'm going to have to wait a whole season to get some of the shit that I want. But like I said, if that's the case, then I, yeah, I don't mind it. It's literally just people are buying it just to have it now instead of later. So if that's the case, then yeah, I guess. Other than that, let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me know what you guys think about the things in the Instagram. I think it's uh, disappointing, but like I said, if it is working the way I explained now, then at the end of the day, I'm just going to play the game. It doesn't really matter. So I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to follow me on my social media outlets. Links are in the description below. And also don't forget to subscribe. Note that bell thing. I don't know why. Just I see YouTubers do it. So do it, please. And other than that, I will see you guys later.